So higher highs for oil prices that couldn't stick. Weekly close not far off where it started, but let's face it, there's no denying that it's been a stellar quarter when it comes to oil prices. Hello everyone, Monty here. Mark and Anas and IG gonna go ahead and take a look with our next sentiment study at oil. So let's go ahead and pull up and take a look first off at the week on week. We are gonna look far much further back uh, when it when it comes to sentiment and pricing data, but you can see that outer circle started this week, majority short 61%. Inner circle start of last week, uh, they were at a heavy sell, 67%. So week on week, not much of a change. Usually you don't expect much of a change in sentiment, but shorts looking for an excuse to get out and far more cautious when it comes to initiating. That's when it comes to client sentiment. What about when it comes to COT speculators? This is from the CFTC's latest COT report, outer circle last Friday's report positioning as of last Tuesday, inner circle the week before. No change in the percentage terms, even though we did get an increase in both longs and short. This is for WTI physical. And you can see that in this case still holding at extreme buy territory. But the best part, of course, of this is whenever we plot it onto the chart. And we're going to do just that. I've actually removed the moving averages from here on out because so it's a lot cleaner. We can just look at sentiment and plotting it onto, in this case, first starting off with a daily candlestick chart. And you can see that over here, green dotted line, that's for COT speculators, as percent long looking at the left axis, blue dotted line, that's client sentiment. And then there's that red line, the 50-50, which means that whenever you see the dotted line below, blue or green, it means that they're majority short during that time period, whereas whenever they're above, they're majority buy. And take a look at COT speculators. I'll start with them. Majority buy territory throughout this period. This is from end of July up until uh, uh, last uh, Friday, uh, the close of last Friday. And you can see that they were in heavy buy territory, kicking it up a notch to extreme buy territory. And that's how they got to 80%. What about when it comes to uh, client sentiment? You can see in this case, trying to initially range trade. And what, when we pull up the weekly chart, you'll know what I'm talking about. But trying to range trade, briefly timing this beautifully, by the way, when, it, when prices dropped, you know, whenever it would go to uh, you know, uh, sub 80 levels, you're seeing them go, you saw them shift towards majority buy territory, shorts get out, longs initiate. And then as it dropped, longs start to close out, shorts start to initiate, but in a much more cautious manner. I want to say far more cautious compared to say FX, uh, the FX majors compared to say indices, you know, hopefully we'll do one uh, sentiment study on one of the key indices and, and you'll get what I'm talking about in terms of how strong the range trading gets there and how quickly they are to get into extreme buy or extreme sell territory. Not the case here when it comes to oil. Looking for an excuse to stay on the long side, but obviously shorten some of these gains and doing so very cautiously. And you can see that staying within, I want to say, reasonable sell levels and not reaching extreme sell territory. And then when last uh, Thursday we got that pullback, bam, you can see them getting out, uh, shorts getting out and, and taking it down to 61%. Let's go on and take a look at the weekly uh, chart to get a better idea as to why that's the case, that there was a bit of range trading happening prior. And you can see over here that because because you had significant range trading amongst oil prices, staying close to a, a mean, uh, that was the reason why they were looking to range trade. However, let's take a look before that. You know, we were looking at this over here from, from end of July up until now. You can see that that's what, they, you know, it looked as though they were always in majority short territory uh, client sentiment. That's not the case. You actually, if you take a, a uh, picture from last November up until now, they were actually more often in majority buy territory, always looking for an excuse to stay on the buy side. Even when it was range trading, uh, these levels over here, you saw the, you know, there are cases where longs would, so for example, longs would get out and, and um, in this drop over here, prices went down, uh, longs would initiate, shorts would get out, reaching extreme buy territory. And every time it reached sub $70, you'd see them get into extreme buy, the, the blue dotted line would come into extreme buy territory. So they were range trading caution or buys towards the upside, which they got right, um, but then, of course, as of late, as the, the gains were far greater than anyone had, were, were anticipating at the time, you saw some of those longs start to close out a bit early. Some of those shorts start to initiate and try to range, range trade once again some of those levels just because we had this huge period, of course, of, 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 of uh, range uh, trading action. Uh, but let's take a look at COT speculators, the green dotted line. Throughout this period of time, majority buy. It's not uncommon to see them on this product in either extreme buy territory or very close to extreme buy territory. But there, is, there was one exception. You know, they dipped a little bit, but they stayed heavy buy, went back up into extreme buy territory, and then came this drop over here. You know, we had worries with regards to the economy, globally speaking, of course, as well as when it comes to concerns regarding China. And you saw them sort of pull out, pull out, pull out, and get so towards, uh, briefly fall out of heavy buy territory, start to go back in again. And then afterwards, you had OPEX response, which got better and better. And you saw them then after its position for further gains, taking it into extreme buy territory, which goes to show why is it that now they're in extreme buy, whereas when it comes to client sentiment, no longer in heavy sell territory. This is an average for the entire week. You have for, for the start of the week, they were at 60, started this week, they're at 61%. So that's about it from Aaron. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Good luck out there and happy take.